Hey everyone, Don here with Paleo Tracks. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, leg tendons of a deer um, and essentially get uh, sinew from it. Uh, I won't be going through the entire drying process, but I do have a piece of dried sinew here to kind of show you what exactly uh, that sinew looks like after a couple of days of drying. So stick around, much to see. I know you'll enjoy. So uh, what I'm going to do is essentially use this stone flake, this stone blade, this is obsidian, and I'm going to process the sinew out of these uh, deer legs. These are the hind legs, uh, you can kind of see. Um, I hacked them off uh, yesterday and I'm going to process them out. There's two pieces of sinew, there's a front piece that runs in this front portion of the deer leg, and then there's a back piece, there's a tick, runs right down the back which is kind of like the Achilles heel. So I'm gonna cut this guy open and uh, we'll start going from there. Try it. So as you open up, you can start to see these uh, white little membranes on the inside. This is the actual sinew that you wanna get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down the side of the deer, down the side so I don't hit any of the pieces on the front side or this back side and then I'll essentially open it up and then kind of unsheath this leg and its leg bone and pull out the sinew. So how I do it is essentially I find where the bone is and I use that as my backstop as I cut. You can hear that stone blade which is clearly razor sharp hitting that bone. You can just kind of open it up a little bit more. through perfect and then once this guy is completely opened you can see more of the leg tendon right there and you can't quite see the back but then all you're gonna do is just start working your fingers around it try not to separate or cut the sinew quite yet but trying to just pull that hide off. Sometimes there's a little membrane right on the underbelly. Just kind of give it a little pop. Just watch for the sinew. Good. There's that. Get this side over here. But you don't have to be in a rush. You know, you're, it's probably one of the latter portions of processing a deer, clearly. Um, you don't need to you know, run and gun on this sex, this portion, but just want to make sure you get everything that you can if you are taking a deer, taking an elk. All right, I've made it all the way through, which is good. I'm just going to make sure I can get the rest of the hide off. Oh, there's a little tick. That one's awake. Now, once I've come all the way up, I'm going to get this little piece here. Just kind of keep, just like you would skin anything else, you just kind of use that stone blade, work through. Basically, you're just removing the hide. All the way around. And then once you get a good grip, you just kind of pop it off. That's what I'm looking to expose. <laughs> Excuse me, this is kind of an awkward angle. But as you see, I got this, this front one. You can see that tendon actually will work, the, the joint. And then I got this back thick one right here. So what I want to do is continue pulling on it. Make sure it separates from the bone. 
Remove the membrane. If I good, because this is going to connect all the way up to the front. Let me get a better piece. This one, you can see that it follows. You can pull on it and see where that joint is and see where the actual tendon is. Get through more of it. A little bit more. You be careful when you're using any stone tools because they're sharp on all edges. Yeah, come on now. All right. Here we go. There's your first piece of uh, sinew. That's the front leading up to the toes of the actual deer. So we'll just set that there. We'll put that on the tree branch behind us. Now I'm gonna go for this back leg. Um, and what I'm gonna do on this one is, this tendon rides all the way, this is where the toes are, rides all the way up to this uh, joint up here. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna separate it on the inside. Basically, I'm taking that tendon and I'm gonna remove it from the bone. So I've got a little gap around your blade or your flake or whatever. And just make sure that this blade is touching this bone so you're not cutting into that sinew. All the way up down to there. All the way down to there. Now, this tendon, watch, you can see it move actually right up here. It's connected all the way through. So you're gonna have to go up into this upper portion and start cutting it out. Now, watch what happens. I'm gonna, you can see it right there. Come on now. Pulled it right through. So, there's two portions to this. You have this little outer casing that you can cut and definitely dry, but inside is that good sinew portion that you really wanna take, so. Cut it up here, right down here. Get that bigger blade. There we go. All right, now. Got one good piece, two good piece. Pull those right through. All right, so there is another piece of sinew. All right, so now I'm gonna get into this second leg and uh, I'm just gonna cut here, I'm gonna cut here. The uh, top of this leg's pretty mangled. There's some damage already to the sinew. I can see it uh, right there. So I'm gonna get what I can and go from there. So, stone flake. Let's use this guy right here. I'm gonna find that bone. I'm gonna cut right along the bone. All the way up, right along the side of the toes. Set my blade down, make sure I got it all. Perfect. Toes. Oh, make sure I get that. I can release that hide from there. I already did that first leg, so. Alright. Now, once I get that first piece, that hide removed, or starting to remove it. Just make sure I can come all the way around on it.
honest with you, this is a lot easier when the legs are actually on the deer. But beggars can't be choosers. All right. So now let's remove the hide. The whole way through. Oh, look, now I have my front piece and I have my back piece. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I removed the sinew from both of these uh, deer legs, as you can see. Uh, I took it from the front, flipped them over, took it from the back. Now I can continue processing things, uh, these, these legs. Uh, I can use these bones right here after I remove these joints in the uh, foot. These make great knife handles. Um, I could even use these bones as uh, spear points or some sort of arrow point after I dry it out for a little while. Uh, the one thing I'd recommend if you're looking into learning how to uh, tan hides, use these little sections on a, on a deer leg. They're relatively easy. There's not a lot of fat on there. There's not a lot of meat on there, so you can really practice on, you know, uh, smoking it, uh, stretching it, going through the entire tanning process. But this is a good little piece of, disc of skin to kind of practice uh, tanning a hide on. But, uh, yeah, so bottom line, here's all the sinew that we... Uh, you know, that we uh, were able to extract. There's plenty of it, a little bit. There's a, a sheath membrane right here. I like to save it. Sometimes there's little uh, micro tendons that are caught up in those and you can use those as well. But this is all the sinew. This is your natural cordage. Uh, it's great to be able to harvest the deer and then use everything that you possibly can in the deer. Uh, essentially drying it out and then pounding it into individual strands and then reverse wrapping it or sewing with it or hafting arrows or spear points or atlatl dart points it's really up to you but again used all uh, obsidian stone tools um, sharper than anything so uh, hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you around